A video tweeted by Railways Minister Ashwini Vaishnav has caught public imagination. The video that has gone viral shows seemingly endless goods train passing through a station. It was the test run of India's longest freight train Super Vasuki on 15th August as part of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav celebration. The 3.5 kilometers long train with 295 loaded wagons and powered by five engines carried a load of about 27,000 tons of coal, the highest ever carried by the Indian Railway in a single train arrangement. Let us inform you more about Super Vasuki and its significance in our supply chain ecosystem in this video. Supply chains may remind of snakes as they slither through an economic system, adding smooth mobility and speed to it. But in Super Vasuki, Indian Railways has got itself an ambitious metaphor to live up to. In Hindu mythology, Vasuki, the serpent king that has the pride of place around Lord Shiva's neck, became the rope to be bound around Mount Mandra to churn the ocean. Will the railways be able to contribute to the churning of India's economy by making logistics more efficient? India's logistic costs, as a percentage of the gross domestic product (GDP), are too high for an economy trying to power ahead in challenging times. India has been creating massive infrastructure for better mobility and hopes to cut logistic costs. The costs would drop to 10% of GDP from the current 16 to 18% in next 5 years, said Nitin Gadkari, the Union Minister for Road Transport and Highways, in a recent interview with Mint. Railways Minister Ashwini Vaishnav believes that trains can help bring down logistics cost as a percentage of the GDP as trains offer a cheaper means of transportation than roads. The railway seeks to increase its modal share in freight from the just 27% at present to 45% in 10 years. That's where long trains like Super Vasuki matter. For the last few years, India has been showcasing long freight trains. Super Vasuki is the longest so far, an improvement over several previous trains. In 2020, Indian Railways operated to freight trains which caught a lot of attention for their novelty. The trains were named Super Anaconda and Sheshnag. Three trains were combined to form Super Anaconda which was 2 kilometers long. Sheshnag which combined four trains was 2.8 kilometers long. The railways also tested a Trishul train by joining three trains. In 2021, the railways showcased a Vasuki train. And now we have Super Vasuki. The long trains may appear gimmicky but they are just what India needs. Long trains like Super Vasuki improve the overall freight performance. Longer the train, quicker the transportation of goods which reduces the wagon turnaround time as empty wagons are available sooner for each loading journey say experts longer trains also save labor a single long train needs fewer workers to manage it than many smaller trains according to experts one long train also causes less congestion than three four smaller trains running on that path in its place That's why on saturated sections long trains can help cut transportation time. One long train instead of say five smaller ones will also face reduced detention en route. That improves average speed as well as reduces the running time between two stations. Trains like Vasuki can help the railways meet its target to increase the average speed of freight trains from 22 kilometers per hour to 50 kilometers per hour. So, long trains are good for the railways as they increase operational efficiency as well as for customers as they carry goods in shorter time. A Super Vasuki train takes 4 minutes to cross a railway station. Obviously, longer freight trains cannot run on all tracks and create an obstruction for passenger trains. Early this year during the coal shortage at several power plants 
the railways had to cancel several passenger trains to move coal carrying freight trains faster. India is making long freight trains because it is building dedicated freight corridors DFCS, for them where they can run optimally and without obstructing passenger traffic. Freight corridors are special tracks made for goods trains, which will be useful, especially for long trains. They aim to decongest the railway network, ensure faster movement of goods, increase the national carrier's freight capacity network, and reduce overall logistics costs for companies. The Eastern DFC will start from Sahnewal near Ludhiana, Punjab, and pass through Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and Jharkhand to terminate at Dankuni in West Bengal. The Western DFC will connect Dadri in Uttar Pradesh to Jawaharlal Nehru port in Mumbai and will traverse through the states of UP, Haryana, Rajasthan, Gujarat and Maharashtra.